perimeter fence the training. is a fixed location and ours is so accurate that it won't drift no matter the, the environment. <clears throat> so we will go to 40 below zero and to plus 120 before it starts to waver. So as I tell people, yeah. I'm hiding in the basement if, if we get to those temperature extremes. <laughs> <clears throat> so around here, if we stay within that, then the fence is going to be there day in and day out whenever the dog goes near it so they learn a spot in the yard. Yeah. So with a remote trainer, although if somebody were to stand on guard and watch and know exactly when the dog hit the, the, the turning point, they would hit the button, that's just not something humans are willing to do. It's not, uh, it's not consistent and when it's not consistent, like another brand fence will waver from time to time depending on the weather. Uh, dogs like children will kind of test their fence and if they find that it's not consistent they'll keep on returning like kids will test their parents. If they know they have firm parents or a really consistent fence they kind of just give up on that and once in a while they'll test it but not all the time.